Hi. One of the things you'll need for Lab 4 is an access point that you can connect your smart object to. And one of the options is to use, to use your cell phone. But one of the other options is to use your laptop. Now if the laptop is on the internet, we can install an application to create an access point from your laptop. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it's called Virtual Router. Uh, and it turns out that this virtual router uh, is going to use uh, WPA2 encryption and it's going to create a local access point from your computer. All right, so let's download it. All right, and run. Uh, installer next. Uh, everyone. Next. So again, the way the internet's going to work is your laptop is on the real internet, hooked up in its usual way. Uh, but we're going to create a separate access point that your microcontroller can connect to. All right. All right, so this is the front panel uh, for the access point. So now we're going to create a name for your access point. This is the SSID. And uh, let's just call it Valvano Access Point. Okay. Give it whatever you want. Um, and so we need a password. Okay. So I'm going to make it easy to type. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, and I want to create a Wi-Fi access point. All right, start router. Okay, so this router is now running. Okay, so this is a discoverable access point. So let's use it to get the weather on our on our embedded device. So I need to remember the name of the SSID and the password. All right, so I go over here, and this is called. Valvano access point. Uh, like I said, it was WPA encryption. And now I need the password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, build. Download. Because as you know, in Lab 4, we hard coded the uh, connection to the access point. All right, let's see if it works. All right, uh, debug. All right, debug. All right. Um, I've set this window up here to show the the packet received by the system. So let's see if we get some weather. Okay. There we are. Works. Okay. Uh, let's check to see what the weather is like outside in Austin, Texas. Okay, so the temperature is a uh, balmy 30 degrees and uh, it's overcast. All right, let's go back to the access point and we can see uh, that the connection uh, to my smart object is shown right here. So this is the connection to my object. And there's the MAC address of the CC3100. And this is the local IP address uh, within this local network. All right, so therefore, uh, now you can do Lab 4. Uh, wherever you bring your laptop, uh, you can create an access point onto which your smart object can connect. There you go. You try it.